you ever thought to yourself, well, I've seen something like that before. Uh, I was watching a video the other day, happened to be on the quad cortex, and Rabia was kind of doing some stuff with the synth foot pedal things. And it's not something I've ever tried with a Helix before, but I've seen, I think, somewhere, someone else doing it. I can't remember where. But I thought, well, that's a, a good opportunity to look into that. And I was chatting to Ross from Yamaha, who sends me dodgy texts now and then. And I thought, right, this is a, a good opportunity to test this out and see, can the Helix do that sort of thing? And the answer is yes. So I just wanted to talk you through it. If you thought you'd seen this dog before, it's actually Fenton's son, Nemo. Uh, he's a perfect replica, except he only has three legs. Anyway, he looks like this. Hates to be on camera, clearly. I'm just going to talk you through what I've been doing. And I'll keep hold of this dog. So you'll see snapshot one, or snapshot four, sorry, I've got the three note generator bypassed for. So this is my preset, future Helix Gen. And you can mess around with this and do some experiments with it. I've EQ'd after the three note generator, just because I found like it was potentially a bit harsh. So obviously you can do plenty of experimenting with it. But I thought just putting a, a high shelf EQ afterwards kind of did a job for me. Snapshot 1 is playing basically a C major. So we've got C and E and then another C I think. And then snapshot 2, we're moving the bottom note to an A. But you could also mess around with octaves if you want to. And then snapshot three, I'm going to move that bass note to an F. And there's an octave if you wanted it. So that's basically what you can do with that kind of thing. So to me, this is super, super powerful, and I've not even really thought about it until today. Uh, I don't know how I've missed this, but I'm going to think about some other things that I might want to do with this. So I'm at the moment pairing this with a looper to kind of create some soundscapes. And obviously within the three note generator, they're super flexible. So you can have sine waves, triangle, saw down, saw up, square. You can change the notes, change the, the level, you can change the amount of glide. So you could do like a super 
apply loads. So let's just listen to this. So snapshot one, and then it's going to glide. between notes so that's kind of something you can do and you can change the glide for each note so let me just try that and I'm going to change this note to an A and See, it's kind of a super versatile little thing. I'm going to change everything to a saw, and that's a very different sound. You can pick which kind of sound you want. And what you could do, you could even kind of set up more snapshots where you've got one part of the song which is like a sine wave or another preset and then one part which is triangle or whatever um, so triangle again will be a very different sound to that quite a lot softer I think the square will be like a bit more of a, a singing sound but for I think the saw is like the thickest, most kind of dirty synth. Infinite amounts of options and fun. So you've got three notes, so imagine like you've got your hand on a keyboard you can kind of do whatever you like you've got up to eight snapshots so you could have eight different chords I think you could also program some stuff to other kind of buttons here if you wanted to do that but I'm gonna start some more experimentation with this this is new to me if you wanted to change the amount of notes you could just turn the level down on the other oscillators if you just wanted like a one note bass note thing obviously then that would be potentially slightly more versatile the other thing you could do is just have it in fifth so you could get rid of that major third which is happening if you're into theory and stuff so a C and a G I could play C minor or C major stuff over this um, whereas if I had the E in it that would be less kind of versatile if you like But yeah, I think that's pretty incredible. You might see me doing some more stuff with this. Say goodbye to Nemo, and I'll catch you for another video soon. And here's some more kind of experimentation with it. Uh, the video you've just seen actually is my first time playing any of this. I'll drop this preset into the folder, Future Helix Gen. You can get all of my presets in the description if you want. Hopefully this was vaguely interesting. If it was, could you like and subscribe, leave a comment. Let me know if you already knew about this three note generator and tell me that I'm late to the party. I'm late to most parties, sort of my thing. I'll catch you in another video soon.